Lavario. So what you're about to see is a clip from my membership video, which is called The Ultimate Guide on How to Get a Girl Back to Your Place. So check out this clip, and if you want to see the whole 45-minute video, make sure you go to badboymembership.com, click the link below, and become a member so you can see the entire video, all right? So check this out. Your house has to be clean. It's really that simple. If your house is not clean, it's going to make it harder for you to have sex with the girl because she's not going to feel comfortable at your spot. You feel what I'm saying? So this is very important because a lot of times, you know, if you're leaving your house and you're going out on a date or whatever, you might be rushing, you might not think about it, and the thing is you're going to leave your house a mess or whatever, and then if you're trying to take a girl back, you might get her all the way back there and then she's going to start changing her mind and not wanting to do things because your house is a mess. You understand? It's very important for your house to be clean because that makes the girl more comfortable. So before you leave the house, make sure you clean the house. Even, you know, anytime you leave your house, even if you weren't going on a date, let's say you're just going out to, you know, hang out with your friends and meet some chicks, you never know, you might bring one of those chicks home and you want to make sure your house is clean. Right? I'll tell you a little story. I remember one time I was at a spot and I met this girl. And, you know, we talking, we kissing and all this other shit. And, we, you know, we getting all the hype or whatever. And so I was like, yo, you know, come back to my spot. And she was like, all right, cool. Let's, let's make this happen, right? So I get in a cab and I go all the way to my house. And while I'm in the cab, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm thinking, I'm like, I forgot to clean my fucking house. I was like, shit, this, this shit is probably dirty as hell, right? And I had roommates and shit, right? So the thing was, you know, I text one of my roommates and I was like, yo, could you could you uh, clean up the living room and all that real quick? You know, uh, make sure it looks nice and everything, right? Because I got a chick coming over. So I text him this and he's like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll hook it up. So he cleans the living room and then I was like, oh shit, I forgot to tell him to kind of hook my room up. You know what I mean? So my room is still fucked up. So we getting out the cab and I'm like, okay. Like, you know, we get upstairs and we're chilling on the couch or whatever, and the living room's looking clean. So I was, I was glad he cleaned up the living room. So then we're chilling there and we're talking a little bit. We're kissing on the couch and everything like that. And, you know, my friend, my, my roommate, he's, a, he's in the room or whatever, and me and the girls in the living room. So she was feeling all funny because, you know, she knew my roommate was home because, you know, he came in and he came and said what's up to her, came back and went back in his room. So she felt kind of funny, you know, kissing and doing shit on the couch, right? While he was, you know, in his room. So she's like, yo, let's go to your room. And so I'm trying hard as hell to avoid going in my room because I knew my room was fucked up. It had shit all over the place, you know, uh, empty candy wrappers and, and dirty clothes all over this place and shit. So I'm like, shit, how am I going to, uh, <laughs> how is this going to work? Because I know as soon as she see that room, she's going to start feeling all funny because it looks disgusting in there, right? So luckily, we're, we're on our way to the room, and luckily she was like, oh, you know, where's your bathroom at? I need to use the bathroom. So I was like, okay, good, maybe uh, it'll give me some time while she's in the bathroom. I could go in there and clean up some shit, right? So she goes to the bathroom, and I'm going into the, into the freaking, um, you know, my room, and I'm rushing, and I'm trying to pick shit up and all this other stuff, but it's just so damn messy in there. So then she comes out the bathroom. She used the bathroom really quick. And I'm, I'm trying to clean, I'm trying to clean, and then, you know, I, I turn around and I see her standing, you know, at the door looking in my room. And, you know, I could see the look on her face. She didn't want to come in. You understand what I'm saying? And so I was like, yo, come in, come in, you know, come and chill, whatever. So I tell her to sit on the bed, and she, she like, reluct reluctantly <laughs> comes to sit on the bed. And I still got dirty clothes, and I just kind of brush it off to the side and, you know, put it in my, in my you know, my closet or whatever. And I'm sitting there and it's still sort of shit on the, you know, like, like, you know, paper and everything on the floor. And then she's just looking around and I'm like, and I can feel that she's about to say some shit. I can feel it. I'm like, oh gosh, she's going to be like, you know, uh, you know, some bullshit. So then she's like looking at me. She's like, you know what? It's getting kind of late. I think I should go. You understand? So what happened was, you know, the, 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 the feeling and the. The, the flow of the evening got fucked up just because my room is a fucking mess. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I'm telling you guys, you know, it's important to clean your room. Because I was like, no, no, girl, come on, you know, it's, it's all good, blah, blah, blah. And, but it was just, it was done. Like, the, the feeling and the energy was gone. 
right? See, what you got to understand, guys, about it is this, is that you're taking a girl home. You go from, you know, let's say the club or the bar or, you know, wherever you're coming from. And what happens is, is that the flow of the night is going really well. And, you know, she's, she's excited. She's like, things are going cool. I like this guy. He's fun. He seems awesome. But then, you know, what happens is, is that you sort of put a little wrench in the in the situation when she comes back to your place and it's looking horrible because all that excitement and, and the flow and the energy kind of gets cut off because she sees how dirty your your, your room or your house is and it, you know it, it, it doesn't make her feel good it doesn't make her feel you know excitement it doesn't make her feel sexy you understand like and a lot of times too you know some girls they are when they're dealing with you they're they're dealing with you on the 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 sort of like this thin line between excitement and nervousness because you got to understand that you know if you're just some guy she just met and she's coming back to your place even though it can be exciting it's still sort of could be sort of nerve-wracking because she doesn't know you like that you understand so you want to make everything as comfortable as possible and it's hard to make it comfortable if you are the type of dude who has your shit all over the place, right? So the, what you got to understand is that the whole evening, the whole time you're with her, from the time you meet up to the time she come back, comes back to your place, the flow has to be smooth. You understand? So it's kind of like, you know, look at it like this. A chick, when she's dealing with you, it's like she's, you know, on a roller coaster ride. You understand what I'm saying? And the roller coaster ride, the, the ride goes like up and up and then it does that big dive. So the anticipation of it coming up and then doing that dive is awesome. And then you go back, it goes up and it does that dive and everybody's excited and happy and shit. Now, imagine the roller coaster goes up, up and it gets stuck there for like 20 minutes. And 20 minutes turns into half an hour. And all that fun you thought you were having is not so fun anymore because you're stuck right there. So that's how the girl feels when she comes back to your house and she sees that dirty ass apartment. Everything was fun, 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 fun. She thought she was going to do that super dive into sex and, and awesomeness, but then she got stuck when she saw your dirty ass apartment. Do you understand? So this is why it's really, really important that you keep your apartment clean. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.